Dancing Robot. Today, we're going to build a dancing robot. A dancing robot? That's right. We're going to all use the same soundtrack and we are going to see if we can code our robot to move to the beats of the track. That's right. We are going to see if we can make a cool, hip robot that can dance to the sound of a tune. And then, at the end, everyone's going to dance at the same time and everyone's going to judge which robot they think is the best. Here are some rules.
So we're going to code our dancing robot into three separate sections. The first thing we're going to do is control the face. The lights on the hub are going to represent its face. So we're going to use these blocks here a fair bit. The first thing we need to do is to grab the one that says rotate because we want the side, we don't want the face to be up and down. We're going to put it on its side so it's kind of landscape. So if you just have rotate there, it'll just rotate it left to right and whatever we show on the screen will appear the same way. It's just going to be landscape. So we're going to grab one of these ones here and we might um, make it smile just for two seconds and then we might make it sort of go with a straight face for two seconds. So you can adjust the picture of the face here. See, whatever ones you color in here, that'll appear on the screen. Okay, and we might want it to do this thing three times. It might smile and go straight, smile and go straight, smile and go straight three times. So if we go to the control tab here, we can get it to repeat and maybe just three times is enough. It's totally up to you how you code the face. This is just an example. After it's smiled and straight three times, then we might get it to wink. So we go back to lights and we're going to get this one here that makes it, and we're going to make it look like it's winking by um, drawing or getting rid of a couple of those. That makes the eye kind of look like it's closed now. This one's still open. And you might say to yourself, okay, I want that just to wink for two seconds. And then we want it to go back to normal smile. Okay, for another two seconds. Then we can repeat that three times by going back to control and choosing the repeat block and put it there. Oops, not there, but here. Oops, not there, but here. Come on, you can do this, man. Yeah. So make it three times there. So at the moment, it's going to rotate the face and it's going to go smile straight, smile straight, smile straight, and then wink, smile, wink, smile, wink, smile. And then we could just get it to close both these eyes. So we'll go back to lights and change it here and make both the eyes closed like this. But you might make that close for four seconds at the end. But this isn't a very long song. So far it's going to do this three times and this three times and that for four seconds. So that's not very long. We're going to make it do it forever now. Go to control and choose forever and put it above here and that will make all of this repeat over and over and over again. And you might decide if you want it to be more in time with the music, you might make it 1.2 seconds here or even just one second. So you can decide what you want to put in for the duration of your animations and you can put as many blocks in here as you like. Again, this is just an example of what you could do. But when I made mine, um, that's what I used. I made it look like this. Okay, now that's just doing the face. That's got nothing to do with dancing. So we're going to build another stack now. And the other stack is going to be controlling the arms on the robot. How, see how his arms spin back and forth? And we're going to do something similar. So we're going to grab from the events tab another when program starts. Because while the face is doing all that, we want the arms to be spinning. And we're going to plug the arm into motor B, port B. And we're going to just make it turn for just a, a small, not even a whole rotation. 0 0.3, about a third of a rotation. And then we're going to get it to spin back the other way. Now you can just hold that down or right click on it and duplicate it. And then you can turn the arrow the other way. So it's going to turn one way a third of rotation, then the other way a third of rotation at the very start. And then we might get it to stop moving his arms. It might say, wait one second. And then we might duplicate all that and get it to do it again. And then after it waits one second, we might go back here and grab another one of the top blocks and make sure it's plugged in the port B. And then we might do a big spin. We might make the arm spin five times. Okay, and then we're going to loop all this so it does this over and over and over again. So we'll go forever. Wooshka. So, while it's doing all this with its face, these arms are going to start spinning 
make sure all these say port B, you can adjust them as much as you like. You could make them spin for 0.1 of a second. You can make them spin for 0.7 of a second, whatever you want to do. Um, but that just make this is the one that I used in my demo. So that's what it could look like if you wanted it to. So, so far we've made the lights shine on his face and we've made his arm spin, but we actually haven't made the robot itself move. So we're going to build another stack. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. Actually, I might put this one over here. It doesn't really matter um, that there's three different stacks because when you press play down here, it'll run all three stacks at the same time. So we go when program starts and we're going to grab, we've got to tell the robot where we are plugging movement motors in so it knows these motors are moving together. And we could have said C and D if you want. I think I did E and F this time around, but it doesn't really matter where you plug them in as long as your code matches where you plug them in. And then I made it do a bit of a rotation, a bit of a spin at the start. So I'm going to grab this block here and instead of right, I'm just going to go left and I'm going to go 100. If you choose 100% spin, that means it will actually spin. 100% turn will make it spin. And I might just make it turn for three seconds. Okay, at the start, you can do rotations or seconds. You could even do degrees, but degrees is how much the wheels turn, not how much the robot turns. And then after it spins for three seconds, I am going to get it to um, just go back and forth a few times. So I'm going to grab this same block again. I'm going to say go forward, but only go forward for half a rotation. In other words, the wheels will just spin halfway around. And then I might just duplicate that one by holding it down or right clicking on it if you're on a computer and make it go the other way for 0 0.5 a second. And then I might get it to do that twice. So I'm going to go control here. I might say repeat two times. Then I'll make it do it twice. Okay. So far it's going to spin for three seconds and then go back and forth twice. And then I might get it to spin the opposite way. So I'm going to go grab this one again. I'm going to, sorry, I'm going to grab this one again and then I'm going to go right 100. Now I might just go right, I might go right 30 because that'll go up, do a bit of an arc. And we'll do that for three rotations or three seconds. Okay, it doesn't really matter if these are seconds or rotations. You can decide what to use, but I'd use either seconds or rotations, okay? Because if you do degrees, it can get confusing. All right, so after it's done all that, after it's done its spin, we're going to get all this to repeat. So we're going to grab the control tab that says forever and we're going to put it here. So now it'll spin and then it'll go forwards and backwards two times and then it will turn in a circle and then it'll go forwards and backwards two times and then turn in a circle. Forwards and backwards two times, turn in a circle. It'll keep doing that over and over again. So that's just the way I've got my robot to dance. You can make your code say anything you like, but I think it's really helpful to have three different stacks. One for the face, one for the arm spinning around, and one for the movement motors that make it go back and forth and spin. I hope that's helpful. So this is an example of what your code could look like. Now it's time to press pause so the students can see this example and the rules. And here are the teacher setup instructions. The main thing you need to do is just set up a zone where all the robots can dance. So it could just be as simple as a masking tape rectangle like I've done here. Uh, you can make it as fancy as you like. In previous classes I've made dance floors and had, had even had mirror balls and things going. But that's totally up to you. And then you just need to find a song that's suitable and appropriate for your classroom. Good luck and happy dancing. Down the bottom of all my lesson videos in the description, there are some free resources. In this particular one, there's a link to a printable PDF that you can use for kids to vote for the best dancer. So the kids can fill out their name and they write the names of the three robots, either like the kit numbers or the students' names, the ones they like the best, and then you can tally up all the votes. Also at the bottom of all my lessons, there's a comprehensive lesson plan down the bottom there. So you can tap on that link and you can open up a lesson plan which shows you some objectives and materials needed and the procedure and the usual stuff that you see in a lesson plan. 
and including some extension ideas and some links to the Australian and the American curriculum. So there's some fantastic stuff there in the in the uh, description of every lesson. If you like this video, make sure you check out my other lessons.